Hello and today we will be checking out the WooCommerce shipping restriction or the conditional shipping plugin uh, that basically allows the WooCommerce platform based web store owner to restrict shipping methods uh, that are to be applied uh, in the cart itself and the admin can add multiple restriction rules for shipping methods and if all of the rules are, are applicable in the cart only then the shipping uh, will be allowed and would be displayed to the customer itself. Apart from that, the admin can set up the restriction rules uh, and the rules can be created on the basis of measurement that has the length, width, height, weight and volume or the cart uh, basis on the cart basis that is uh, the subtotal products and categories. So uh, I'll be just taking you through the workflow at the uh, storefront and then the admin's end for the initial configuration and the rest of settings for the uh, plugin itself. That's the WooCommerce shipping restriction. And as you can see right now, I'm at the uh, storefront and I'll be logging into my customer account thereafter. So uh, let me go ahead and let me log into the uh, uh, customer account first. So uh, right now I'll logged into my customer account and uh, I'll be adding a few products into my cart and thereafter we'll be checking out and then depending upon the restriction that has been set by the store admin, uh, the respective uh, shipping methods would be visible to the customer there. So uh, let me go to the shop page and add a few products uh, into the cart. So let me add the beanie and the uh, beanie with logo into the cart and now let's go to the uh, cart page. And in the cart, if I scroll down now, you can see that uh, under the cart totals here, we have the shipping as the flat rate. So this has automatically been selected and the customer doesn't have the option to choose any other shipping. Thus, uh, the admin has restricted the shipping method uh, for the customer there, according to the uh, uh, products within the cart. And uh, from here, uh, now the customer can directly proceed to the checkout to place the order for uh, place the order there. Now, uh, let me take you to the admin backend panel. So here you can see that uh, we have this particular restriction that we had created uh, subtotal restriction and the restriction option was uh, subtotal and the restriction operator was less than or equal to the restriction that is uh, $50 there and the restriction shipping was uh, flat rate and this is enabled. So if I go back to the cart, so you can see that the total is uh, less than 50 there. That's why only the uh, flat rate shipping is applicable on this particular order that the customer is going to place. Now let's uh, check the other ones as well. So uh, for that, uh, now let's check uh, uh, this first one. That's the subtotal restriction too. So here, here the restriction is on the subtotal and the operator is greater than or equal to 500 that's the restriction that we have set for it and the restriction shipping is for uh, free shipping now if i go back to the storefront here i've updated the uh, product pr uh, quantity and uh, now you can see that the subtotal right now is 578 and that's why now we are having uh, the free shipping so now the customer can choose uh, the, uh, doesn't need to choose the shipping method and this applicable shipping is applied uh, to this particular uh, uh, order right now and the customer can now tap here in the proceed to checkout button to make the checkout very easily. So that's how uh, we have set this uh, restriction wherein uh, the subtotal is uh, 500 or more than 500, then the free shipping would only be available to the customers at the time of checkout. So after that, they can just tap here in the proceed to checkout to easily check out uh, there. Now let's go back. Now let's check this one, the other one that we have created, my restriction, and the restriction is on the product the operator is, uh, operator is includes and the restriction is on the products beanie and beanie with logo so if any of one of these products are there in the uh, cart there then uh, the customer would be having the restricted shipping that's the local pickup only so you can see that we've enabled it let me uh, disable the rest of the ones and let's apply so you can see that right now uh, the rest of the uh, once would be disabled sorry for that i will have to choose and apply all right now you can see that uh, the under the status all of the rest are disabled and uh, the restriction is on the products uh, which include the beanie and the beanie with logo and the shipping method for that is a local pickup so let's go to the storefront now and within the cart right now i said the uh, cap and the beanie with logo as uh, the two products 
and here now you can see that uh, for the selected product we need uh, with the logo is there within the cart so right now you can see that uh, under the shipping we have the local pickup so now the customer just needs to directly tap here and the proceed to checkout and there are no other uh, shipping methods uh, for the customer to use and we have restricted the shipping to the local pickup for this particular order because we had included the beanie with the logo there and the restricted shipping method was local pickup uh, also kind of know that the uh, plugin does not create any new shipping methods and you can restrict only the existing shipping methods and also if the product does not have any shipping method restriction then all of the active shipping methods would be displayed at the checkout so right now you can see that i've added two products in the cart and if i refresh the page once let me refresh the page we'll be able to see all of the available or enabled uh, uh, there uh, shipping methods so right now you can see that now the customer can choose any one of these uh, available uh, and enable shipping methods there uh, and for uh, these products as there is no uh, restriction that has been set so all of these shipping methods are visible here and the customer can choose any one of them uh, to make a checkout uh, thereafter by tapping here in the proceed to checkout button now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let's see the configuration settings that are there for this particular uh, uh, shipping restriction uh, plugin for the WooCommerce platform based web stores. So now let's hop onto the admin backend panel. So I'll be logging into the admin panel by entering my username and the password. Now, after the successful installation of this particular plugin, the admin will find the book shipping restriction option on the side panel, as you can see. So we just need to navigate to this particular section. So if it, this is the first time that you are going to this particular section, then the, the, this section would be completely empty. So after creating your new restrictions, you will be able to find them here being listed. And here you can see the title, the description, restriction option, product subtotal, total weight, subtotal, restriction operators that we've used, the restrictions, the restriction shipping, shippings that are applicable for each of the restrictions that we have created. So uh, from the drop down, the admin can make bulk actions like enable, disable or delete any of the restrictions that he has created. So for that, he'll have to check those ones. And from the drop down, he can enable, disable or delete them uh, by selecting the option first and then tapping here in the apply button. To add a new restriction, just tap here in the add new restriction button and uh, that will bring up this particular section. So here you'll have to set up your restriction title, uh, the description for the same. Now under the restriction basis here you can choose from measurements and the cart. From the measurements you can choose the total weight, total height, length, width and volume. You can also choose the cart options uh, or the restriction options like the cart subtotal, uh, products and categories. If you choose it as products uh, then here you'll have to choose the restricted products by entering the name of the product and selecting them up. You can have multiple products there. If you choose it as categories then here you'll have to choose the categories uh, on which it would be applicable the restriction would be applicable uh, you can choose multiple categories there now uh, according to the restriction option that you've chosen from here you'll have to set up the rest of the options so on for the subtotal you'll be uh, selecting the operator whether you want to have it greater than greater than or equal less than less than or equal then you'll be setting up the restriction input for example 100 so if the subtotal is less than or equal to 100, then the restricted shipping method would be any one that you want to choose from the available ones. So the one that you'll choose here would be visible to the customers if the subtotal is less than or equal to 100. And here we have the status as enable or disable. So you'll enable it and then tap here on the save restriction button to save your particular restriction. Same goes for the products as I've already told you. But uh, for the restriction operation, in the case of restriction options, if uh, uh, selected as product then the research operator would be includes excludes or all present and the same goes for the uh, categories so if I choose here as categories then uh, we have the restriction operator as includes excludes and all present and similarly we can choose the total height uh, we can choose it as greater than greater than or equal less than less than or equal and then we can set up the uh, restriction input like uh, height is 20 centimeters so any product uh, that uh, comes uh, between uh, greater or than 20 uh, for its total height uh, the chosen restricted restricted shipping uh, method that you would have selected from here would be visible to the customers at the checkout automatically and then they can proceed further to place the orders 
and after uh, saving your particular uh, shipping restriction it gets listed here under the uh, shipping restriction list as you can see and from here the admin can search any of the creative restrictions uh, using the restriction name for example if I enter uh, my restriction and hit the enter button all right let me erase it up let me enter only my let's see if it displays something all right now it displays the correct one so I just uh, entered the wrong uh, name of the restriction there so uh, that's how the admin can also uh, search his uh, restrictions and apart from that you can clear it out and uh, this will again display the complete list of shipping restrictions that you have uh, created there so that was much about the WooCommerce uh, shipping restriction plugin I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you have any questions, queries, suggestions, or requirements, then kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can create a ticket at webcool.uvs.com. You can also contact us through www.webcool.com forward slash contacts. And lastly, if you find this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.